her room stayed sealed for a year. I, I could still smell the latex gloves from the paramedics. It was really difficult, her room, but after about a year, I've kind of opened her room up and decided to let it air out just a little bit. And I changed her linens and changed her sheets and put some of the pictures and I um, got a hope chest and all the things from her funeral and the things that were important to us that I'm just not ready to deal with yet. I put them in a hope chest and I kind of sealed them away. I don't think anger is an emotion that I can afford. I was angry when Mallory was alive, when they refused to do anything. Uh -huh. okay. So I think that's when I was mad. Uh -huh. um, I think right now I'm still in a state of shock. I think right now I'm still in a state of disbelief. Um, it was funny because Seth and I just had this conversation just this morning where um, I said, I still have to wake up every single day and remind myself that Mallory died. So I think anger for me will probably come later. Um, maybe as we get through discovery, as the school tries to defend their actions or tries to justify their actions, I think then you might see some anger from me. But right now I'm still heartbroken. I think I'm still just really just defeated a little bit. You know, in the criminal world, you have to prove intent. You have to prove that these juveniles intended for Mallory to hurt herself. Suggesting that someone should go and kill themselves is quite different than helping someone go kill themselves. There's a level of intent. Speaking, I'm okay with that. The ride home and the night after. Like I know, without a doubt, I will wake up at three in the morning with almost a form of a panic attack, the, the pain will just sink in. Because then I realize that I'm not speaking just because I'm speaking to parents. I'm speaking because my daughter died. And that's still, sometimes my head has to remind my heart. And that's a dialogue between these two organs that is very difficult to have. Your brain has to remind your heart that she's gone. You know, it's the old mantra of one starfish at a time. If, if I can save one child, then it's my civic responsibility to save these parents from what's going on. So because of that, that's empowering for me to be able to do. So I just have to remind myself, I'm not saving every starfish. I'm saving one at a time.